Vanilla Channel, we're not monkeying around. Ah, who are we fooling? Of course we are. We're always monkeying around, and we're doing it even more so today with monkeying toy version Super 7 Ultimates Thundercats. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Super 7 Ultimate unboxing and review. And today on the channel, we've got my favorite Thundercat mutant. We've got Monkey in the toy version. But for all your Super 7 needs and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth. Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10% on all in-stock items. And of course, anything over $39 it does ship free. We got to get a deal out there. And another thing we got to do is do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So without further ado, let's talk all things monkey in. And monkey in, there's a dark sinisterness to monkey in. Uh, he seems goofy in the cartoon, but there is a darkness to monkey in. I've always kind of felt that way. He's always got a little spookiness to him. All the mutants in most ways are a little bit spooky in Thundercats. I don't know, maybe that's just my childhood brain. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, very cool to get him in the toy version, especially for series one of the toy versions. I don't know if that's why I would classify it, but very interesting they went with him for a toy version. But hey, I'm here for it. I'll check that out. But of course, we do get the Super 7 shipper mailer box here, of course, for monkey in. Always do keep these to protect the pack. Packaging, of course, very nice extra uh, level of protection there, but there it is, off the races, see you later. And then, of course, we do get the familiar Super 7 Ultimate Edition packaging style with the slipcase cover. This time, instead of the Thundercats logo, we get the Mutants logo, we get the Mumra logo, the bad guy logo, of course, right there, old Mumra looking good, uh, his logo at least is, Thundercats there, then you get Monkey and Toy version here, nothing around, you get Thundercats on the back, but then the magic happens with the old slipcase cover, the big reveal, and Monkey and got a tan, that's exactly what it looks like, he's a little bit tanner than the prior version, and of course, this entire wave of the Thundercats series, a lot of repaints, a lot of reuse, and we've seen that before, but... Uh, uh, it's not going to be for everybody. You can pass on this set and just uh, move on to the next Thundercat set, or you can get this set and just be one and done with this set. There's a lot of variables in play with this one, and it does work, I think, at the end of the day. But very cool background there on Monkey, and of course you get the extra heads, uh, Thundercats logo, Monkey, and all that stuff. Nothing on the sides, but then the back. The back is where the magic happens. There's a beautiful picture of Monkey, and I love how that looks there. And you get the big blurb for him down below. Let's read and see what it says about our favorite Monkey and... Monkeyan is the leader of the Monkeyans from Plundar. Oh, Plundar, absolutely terrible this time of year. A very depressing place, Plundar. He is a powerful and brutish warrior whose ape-like strength makes him the muscle of the mutants. Monkeyan is also incredibly agile, especially when climbing, swimming, and limping through the tree branches of Third Earth. Because of this, he's often tasked with important reconnaissance missions for the mutants. Rarely seen without his signature helmet, Monkey and preferred weapon is his deadly flail. And rumors have abounded for many years that uh, there is portals and Bigfoot walks through portals and a lot of people do think. Yes, it's true that Monkey and is actually Bigfoot. Uh, the more you know, kids, the more you know. Uh, but absolutely cool. Love to get Monkey in, like I said. My favorite of the mutants. I'm happy to have a different version here with him. We're going to throw this off to the side. See you later. Have a little bit of plastic prison there for old Monkey and looking really, really nice. Uh, but very cool because it looks like the other Monkey in, but it looks totally different at the same time, which I do appreciate that because let's say you wanted to get this just as an army builder of the Monkey Inns. You could very easily do that here. Uh, that does work for a lot of people in their collections, I would have to imagine. So it is a cool idea, cool little point of difference there. But yeah, it'd be you could use this guy as an army builder if you wanted to. Uh, uh oh, took the helmet right off him. Pull him out. There it is. Got him out. Not as many twist ties as some of these other Super Sevens. There he is, off to the side. See you later. And we got Monkey and out of the package. And let's break this guy down here. Let's see what all the fuss is about because there's always fuss about monkeys, especially Monkey in. Uh, but here we go. We got two hands here. He's got two uh, kind of clawing hands, open hands on him. No f fist for Monkey, and I'm a little bit surprised by that. You got to have some fists with him, but uh, seems to not be the case. We get two gripping hands, which you got to have with him here. Nice hairy palms on the top there, uh, looking good for old Monkey. And then we do get his uh, Ian's flail, the ball and chain. I believe they called it the flail on the back of the package. All in a nice gray silver with a real chain in between. I always like that as well. So you can spin that around. We did see this in the prior 
our version of Monkey Inn, of course, but looks really nice. Gets the job done in more ways than one. And then we get down to old Monkey Inn, and he's got his helmet here. We got two extra heads for him. I'm going to put this helmet back on him. It doesn't look like it stays on the absolute best. Yeah, it's going to fall off. So it doesn't stay on absolutely the best. Love Monkey and I love the toy back in the day. I've told it before on my Thundercat unboxings. I only had Mumra uh, from the toys back in the day, and I had Slythe as well. Uh, but I never got Monkey and but I did have a friend that had a lot of the Thundercats, and I played with a lot of the figures over at his house. And that's what a lot of kids did in the 80s. You couldn't get everything. Your parents weren't getting everything for you. So you had some friends that collected different things, and that's where you would come across and play with some of those. So I definitely played with Monkey and back then. There you go. You just got to get it kind of right on his head there. Uh, but definitely a bit cool. Of course, the helmet removal, as we have seen right here. But the, held, the head on this one is stock, of course. There's a nice yellow beard to him there. Big red inside the mouth. And he's got his big fangs showing because he's angry. He's all fired up there. Got red eyes going on. Got those monkey ears off to the side. Uh, definitely looks like monkey in for the toy version. The toy version, very iconic at a lot of toy stores, antique shops, toy uh, shows, things like that. Over the years, seen that numerous, numerous times. And then you get the second head here, the more stoic monkey in head. He's got his mouth shut. He's got the fangs hanging out, the red eyes, uh, the blonde hair, uh, almost like an albino Bigfoot is almost what he looks like here. But uh, looking really, really nice there. Like that one, but I think I like the screaming head. But we'll see. We'll see what I end up doing there. Of course, you got all that fur. It almost looks like he's got a fur shawl on, but obviously that's the fur for his body. Uh, matches his hair, of course. The uh, carpet matches the drapes in some ways there, uh, but looking really nice. And then, of course, you get the tan monkey and skin on this one. That is the big difference between these two figures, at least as far as I sit. Right here at this table, as you guys know. Arms do go around, however, a little bit limited in the articulation department. The shoulder moves out of the way just a hair, but not enough to go all the way around. So you'd have to move the arms out and around. You're going to do that. That does limit the articulation a hair there. Of course, you got the bicep cut. Single jointed elbows. You get the side to side at the elbows, though. Then you get the hands back and forth. Hands, of course, removable. Big old ab crunch on him. Not a ton of movement on that ab crunch, though. It is there, though. You can see the cutout for it but not tons of movement. He is hunched down a little bit with his head kind of like this. Does look a little strange. I keep wanting to push his head back, but it does not move back at all anymore. Uh, so that is a little strange. He's just kind of currently looking down at all times is what it looks like. Uh, you get waist articulation, nice tight waist. Do those big old monkey and splits, swinging through the trees. You got to be a little monkey uh, in you. It's a monkey splits. You get a little side to side at the, at the thigh up there at the top. No thigh cut, but you up at the top, you got the ball. Single jointed knees, of course. He does have knee pads going on in purple and red. A little spike action there as well. Not too bad. And then you get the ankles up and down. Love the big monkey and feet. Got the big spread in between the big toe there and that second toe. Uh, but very sharp nails on him. Just looking mean, looking bad. Of course, he does have his loincloth. I think he might have went over to uh, Eternia and picked up this loincloth at one of the shops there, possibly. But definitely does look pretty good as far as the loincloth goes. Uh, not a bad monkey, and it does harken back to my childhood is what it does for me. Does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use discount code KYLE. Save 10%. Make sure you get the Mattel stands. What do you know? He fits like an absolute glove on there. This brings me back to my childhood. I can vividly remember playing Thundercats. My buddy, he had a waterbed. Oh, he was living the dream in the 80s. He had a waterbed, and then he had a... Uh, Newfoundland. He had two Newfoundlands, and I know I've told this story many years ago. We used to ride his Newfoundlands in his backyard. That's how big those dogs were. They were over 200 pounds. We were just little, you know, six, seven year old kids. We'd saddle up and we'd ride those Newfoundlands around. But those Newfoundlands would jump in his waterbed and they'd have sharp nails. Guess what? They'd always pop the waterbed. And he had to go through a couple different waterbeds uh, over the time of us hanging out and stuff. But I remember distinctly as a kid playing off to the side. He had all his Thundercats on the side of his bed. And we would be sitting there on the floor uh, playing Thundercats. And Monkeyin was one I was always playing with because I love a good monkey. I love a good monkey. I love a hairy bipedal creature still to this day. So there you go. Of course, when you got another version of Monkey in the first one we got here, boy, they're both good. This one has got so much personality to it, the original Monkey in. A lot of the same weapons, a little bit different. No shield with the new one, uh, but a lot of reuse. A lot of reuse here. That is the name of the game. The heads are just totally different. That's the biggest difference between these two uh, when you look at it. And then, of course, the coloring. He's got a different loincloth color, uh, different knee pad colors, different uh, fur color. Uh, but it definitely looks like you could really army build it. This could be your monkey, and this could be a monkey and army member. You could get two or three of these, put these in the background. That definitely could work. That's definitely a possibility if you needed to. Uh, 
But boy, I like both of them. I'm going to go with this one, though, the first one we got from Super 7. I'm going to go with this one as my favorite because there's so much personality in this one. However, this one does hit home. It really feels like the toy all grown up many years later is how it feels here. So very cool to get Monkey in. Very interesting that we got him in this first series here. First series, that's what we're going to call it, of the toy versions. I don't know if there'll be a Series 2 toy versions or not. But I wonder why they selected Monkey and I don't know. But I'm here for it at the end of the day. But where are you at at the end of the day? You picking up Monkey and Super 7 Ultimate Edition toy version? You passing? You playing the long game? You all out on the toy versions and just buying the other versions? Or are you not buying any at all? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. It always helps the channel. Subscribe to this very YouTube channel and hit the old notification bell. As you guys know, we got videos every single day. And got even more content for you over on Patreon, including videos like this much earlier than traditional YouTube, bonus content, Q&As, exclusive videos, you name it, it's all going on over there on the old Patreon. It is truly the best way to support the channel and all the content. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com, search Kyle Peterson, and don't forget to follow along on social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for a monkey in a tree, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.